Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial. Today, we are doing Jack Lambert, Hall of Fame linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 1970s. During their reign of terror in the NFL, winning four Super Bowl championships, and going into the, in particular, statistics of Jack Lambert's career, I'll give you some of the numbers. He was a nine-time Pro Bowler during his 10-year career, seven-time first-team All-Pro, obviously a four-time Super Bowl championship or four-time Super Bowl champion, along with the likes of Mean Joe Green, Mel Blunt, uh, Jack Ham, guys like that, uh, Terry Bradshaw on the offense. Um, but NFL Defensive Player of the Year won that in 1976. Um, also member of the 1980s and 1970s NFL All-Decade team. So that's pretty impressive right there. And they didn't record st uh, statistics for tackles or sacks at the time of his career. Um, they did record sacks, I believe, in 1982, and then they recorded tackles as official statistic in 2001. But the only stat that they had defensively, at least for Lambert, really, that was of any importance, was interceptions. And he, was, he had 28 total interceptions in his career. That is um, top 10 all time in linebackers, period. Not even middle linebackers. He would be higher on the list if he was only single out, singling out middle linebackers. But just out of linebackers, he's top 10 all time for most interceptions in a career for a linebacker, which is pretty impressive given the fact that at the time of his at the time of his career, which was 1974 to 1984, middle linebackers generally, at least prior to him, were asked to be more run stuffers and run support. You know, big cloggers in the ground attack for the, uh, against the offense. What happened with Lambert was pretty much he was 6'4", 220, and he was the ideal size. He was he had the ideal size and athleticism, speed, kind of everything to be able to play more in coverage, and that's kind of what developed the Tampa 2 defense, which ended up having that middle linebacker cover a lot of the middle of the field and playing more in coverage, and he had the ability to do that, uh, which obviously was a, was a part of him getting 28 interceptions in his career. So um, that was something that was really impressive about Jack Lambert, and also was considered one of the most intimidating defensive players of all time. I believe he's number eight on the NFL on NFL Network's um, top 10 most feared tacklers in NFL history, he's number eight, which is quite a, an impressive feat in its own, uh, in, its, in and of itself. So again, a member of the four-time Super Bowl champion Pittsburgh Steelers during the 1970s, very, very important player for that team. The intimidation factor alone from Jack Lambert, just watch some highlights on the guy, you'll, you'll understand what I mean when I'd say that, uh, was unbelievable. Um, in, you know, 6'4", 220, that's a massive frame at the time as well, uh, not in terms of his weight, but just his height and intimidation factor obviously plays a huge role in that uh, Steel Curtain defense that, you know, I mean, that's just an insane defense if you think about it. Guys like Mean Joe Green on the defensive tackle, and then you have Jack Lambert on one side, uh, or Jack Ham on one side, Lambert in the middle, two Hall of Fame linebackers right there are considered uh, some of the greatest at their individual spots. So. Going into the actual player that I'm creating right here, I actually think he turned out really looking like he did while he played in the NFL. Um, you see he's got kind of the, uh, the, the long sleeves or the pads on his forearms, and then he's taped up. He's got a bunch of tape on his fingers and hands. So it was cool that they added that feature into the game, into the equipment section that they had, like the full hand tape combo max, different varieties right there. But it looks really cool. He did have a neck pad as well, and that's even more cool. Uh, the high socks, I could have made him mid, but I made him high socks, and it, he looks really, really similar. If you look up a lot of inter images of him or you watch highlights of him, this looks pretty god dang close to how he would look if you could implement him into a video game. Uh, the face, they didn't have a face that I liked for Jacket Lambert, but I had to make do with what was available. He was known for having uh, no teeth in the middle. He had a gap and, um, you know, that added to the intimidation factor of Jack Lambert. And uh, amazing how people say he, he could hit the, if you watch highlights, he hits the heck out of guys. And he wasn't the heaviest guy in the field, 220, only 100, 220 pounds. There's guys out there, there's linebackers like Ray Lewis who are 250, you know, they got 30 pounds on a guy like this. Uh, and now we're hitting the heck out of guys. So um, interesting to see that. But overall, I think that this looks pretty dang accurate to how he would look uh, once again. Um, maybe in Madden 17 they'll add, I, I know they will add like the arm sleeve in Madden 17, so there will be some additions in terms of the equipment. We'll see if there's any other additions that can be made. Um, just right now on my channel in particular, you've seen that I've created more 
uh, old school type players, Gale Sayers, Steve Largent, and now Jack Lambert, just to name a couple of what I've recently done. So uh, that won't make an impact. They didn't really wear sleeves like that at that point, but there were different things that uh, they might be able to add into the game. I like the, the face masks could be a big thing too. They could add some more face masks into the game, but. That actually will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden NFL 16 content and future Madden NFL 17 content, of course. Please leave any suggestions in the comment section if you want me to do our particular player. I probably will do Patrick Willis and Troy Palomalu in the future as I received those two suggestions recently. Um, but yeah, that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Yep. Thanks for watching.